This is the Red Arc inverter range. We've got uh, the 1500 watt inverter here. We've got a 2000 watt inverter installed in this vehicle here, which is the same unit. Uh, the purpose of these products is to use power from a 12 volt battery, like here we've got a 150 amp hour battery with a 175 amp circuit. It takes that 12 volt power, which is direct current DC, and turns it into 230 volt AC, which is what you get out of your house power socket as well. So if you want to run a sandwich press or a coffee machine or a small induction cook plate or your hair dryer or whatever else you might think of, uh, charge your power tools, uh, you need an inverter. So and these two here are two very popular inverters. They can run a lot of appliances as well. So you can run your coffee machine of these because if you have a look here, 1500 watt means this is the power this inverter actually takes in. It doesn't mean it's the power it gives out. You have to take about 10% off and that is the output power of this thing. So if you want to run your coffee machine, for example, and it says that you've got a 1300 watt coffee machine, you know that this inverter should still just run it. But a 1300 watt coffee machine always leave a little bit of wiggle room. I would go up to the next bigger one. This we usually use for pot machines that got about 1050 watt or 1100 watts. So you can look on the appliance that you want to run. There should be a little label on there saying what the wattage of that appliance is. And then you just look for the inverter that you're planning to use. Put about 20-25% on top of what your appliance uses. And that should be the minimum power of your inverter. So to give you an idea what that means, if you got a 1000 watt appliance, you put about 25% on top. That's 1,250 watt. And then you look for the inverters that are available. You can usually buy a 1,200 watt. That's a bit too small. Next size up is a 1,500 and you go, yep, that's all right, that will do it. Or if you want to leave yourself some wiggle room for things in the future, choose a 2,000 watt unit. That will usually do it. These things are quite handy. What you do is, once they're hooked up directly to the battery, they got an on-off switch. Always make sure you turn your inverter off when you're not using it because it will use power just to idle, just to create that 240 volt sine wave. It will use as much power as your fridge does in a day. So when you are using it, turn it on, use whatever you want to use it for. And when you're done, turn it back off. You can get remote switches for these as well. The Red Arc inverter range has got a remote switch to it too. So if you want to mount this somewhere, behind a panel where you can't access it out of the way where it's easy to store. You can turn it on and off with a little remote switch panel that Red Arc supplies as well. And if you can't get to the power outlet, what we usually do is we plug a power board into it, like you can buy from J-Car, Bunnings, wherever, and put that somewhere where you would be using your appliances most. And then you got the remote switch, you got the power board, and you don't even have to see your inverter. You can just tuck that somewhere where there's a big empty space. Make sure there's some ventilation because they tend to get hot when they run for a little bit longer. And then you got 240 volt when you're out and about. And I think that's really the basics on these inverters. Uh, Red Arc is definitely a very reputable brand for their inverters. Uh, if you want any more information, any more detailed information, have a look on the links below. They get you to our Perth Pro website. You'll find these products there. You'll find links to the manuals and everything. There's a lot more info there. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and all the rest of it. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.